<sighs> Good afternoon. Um, a little bit later than I planned, but the way the day worked out. Welcome to my Sunday edition, um, daily broadcast of my Facebook Live. Um, before I get to the details, let me introduce myself. If you, if you've never seen me before, my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day I do a talk called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. Today's is number 339. Yes, that's been just shy of a year, so it's getting up there now. And I'm actually going to use a chapter from my book. I mentioned this book before, by the way. It's 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. Ta-da! Is it a bestseller? Um, you can get it on my website. If you go to barryselby.com, barryselby.com, click on barryselby.com slash book, or you can find it under best-selling book. It's in there too. And I speak to chapter 39, which is funny because this is number three in the 39. And I just had this idea to talk about this today because yesterday I did a talk about um, red flags. And if you're in a relationship, if you're sitting with red flags, or if you're single, if you're repeating red flags, and talked about that a little bit yet uh, before. So if you want to find out about that broadcast, that was number three in the 38. That's yesterday. You can find it on my, on my wall. Uh, on Facebook or it's on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube because I put it in both places. So today's topic, I thought, let's talk about an example of a red flag, which is traveling together. And uh, I'm going to break this down a little bit. I mean, this may sound extremely obvious to you or it may be puzzling, like, why would I think about that? Either way, I'm going to let you think about this. Um, and again, this is actually, I didn't realize until I put the title up. Oh, it's in my book. Good evening, Vicky. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate having you here. Um, so again, this is my book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, on my website. If you go to barryselby.com slash book, you can get your own copy. Um, it's available in ebook as well if you don't want a physical book. It's a bit chunky that way. <laughs> Put it that way. But I want to talk about this thing about traveling. Um, for a few reasons. Well, for one main reason, it's... Let me put it this way. Red flags, to, mention, to put that in context again, are those things that come up in your awareness of relationships, or sorry, in relationships, that show you areas that are no-go zones. Like they will not change. You can't shift them. You can't make them happen. And they don't work for you. It could be something to be... Um, it could be something basically where you have a rule about something as, as complicated or as, as, as um, um, important as um, you want someone who's monogamous and they're someone who's polyamorous or they cheat on you, either, either point. They're not, they're not the same thing, by the way. And that doesn't work for you. That's a red flag. So it's those sort of things. It could be something like um, you want someone who's, um, who doesn't drink. Because you don't want to be an alcoholic. That could be a red flag for you. So there's all these different things that can come under the heading. And one of those red flags, in the sense, and I should say it's a red flag indicator, not red flag itself, because ideally you want to travel with somebody. But a red flag indicator is when you travel with somebody, the one you're in a relationship, that romantic partner. Um, I'll put it this way. Traveling together tends to reveal your authentic character. <laughs> Pretty simply enough. Um, it, let me let me even make it more contextual. If you travel with somebody and you want to see if your relationship can go, and, um, if you want to if you want to make sure your relationship is going to go somewhere, and in fact, the way I wrote it in the book, and let me read, I just read the chapter for a second, just to give you the context, because I think the way I wrote it makes some sense. So this is chapter thirty nine. Um, this is this is the way I wrote it, so you can get to understand what I mean. So chapter thirty nine, take a trip together within the first. Sorry, take a trip together within the early months of a relationship. It will solidify your romance or end it. You want to know. So that's the way I introduced the chapter. Again, my book. Um, and that's the thing. When you go to somebody and you go, and, and qualification here, if you go with that, your lover and you go somewhere where it's a foreign language that you neither one of you speak, somewhere perhaps where there's no internet, <laughs> let's stack the deck, shall we? where um, it's going to be rustic, or maybe there's a challenge because there's mosquitoes, or something that basically, what I'm trying to say is, if you go away with your lover somewhere where there's triggering in, um, um, opportunities, or things may not go perfectly. Because as I say, you, go to get, you can go with somebody where you go to a hotel, it's a five-star hotel in a nice resort, that's wonderful. But that won't necessarily test the bounds of a relationship. And I'm not saying you should test the boundaries, but I'm saying it's a telling experience. If you go somewhere where the flight gets delayed or your luggage gets misdirected or you end up at the airport and it's raining and there's no, but no taxis, all these sort of things will tend to reveal your character as well as your partner's character. 
So in those circumstances, it's quite um, common, <laughs> as it were, to discover something about your partner that doesn't work. And maybe it's because they yell at the bellhop because they're not happy and they don't handle their anger very well. Or maybe it's because they just sulk in a corner because they don't, want, don't know how to take leadership and take charge. I'm thinking get the picture that basically if you're looking to explore a relationship with somebody, one of the ways you can, and, and this is when you've got to the point where you're actually exploring committed relationship. I'm not saying do this on the first date. That's pushing the envelope a little too much. Because um, frankly, if every first date you go on somebody, you want to go somewhere new that's another international country, that's a high, high mark to go for. But what I am saying is if you're in a relationship and you want to make sure it's the right one. Oftentimes, as I said in my book, traveling together somewhere new and different where you both are exploring new places can really verify that you really do want to be together or it can really, clar really clarify if you don't want to be together. So the opportunity is there. And I'm not saying it's the, one, it's the only one, but I want to do this talk today, and as I said in the title, is this is a red flag indicator, is traveling together. Because, or I should say, it's a red flag, maybe it's more accurate to say, it's a red flag revealer. Because you may not even know you have a red flag about certain things, a no-go zone, as it were, a not, like, not wanting to have, until you have these experiences. Now, for some of you, as I mentioned yet in yesterday's broadcast, you may have red flags about things that have happened to you in the last five relationships, you never want to repeat it again. And I understand that fully. And I did mention in that broadcast, and I'll make it to it today, if there's something that's in the way of you having a relationship, that's where I can help you with that. But in this talk, this, this talk I want to mention about the opportunity to clarify, discover, and um, reveal what you really want. So I'm not sure there's anything else to say, but I mean, that's really it. It's really this simple thing. Going, on, going away, traveling together can be an extremely... Um, revealing in practice for you to find out what's going on. Let me see what else is up for me about this one, because this is right now is a very short broadcast for a change. Well, shorter than usual for a change. But I want to see what else will be relevant to this topic, because the thing about this is, um, and one reason that inspired this conversation, I was actually at lunch with a new, a new friend, and she, like several friends of mine, go to Burning Man every year. And that's a really awesome experience. I've not been myself at this point, it just hasn't pulled me. But if you go with somebody, like if, you, if you're somebody who goes to Burning Man, for example, and I'll do it from the other side in a minute too, and your partner has never been, and when you go, they have a freak out on some level, shape, way, shape, form, like they can't handle the dust or they can't handle the, um, the camping level it comes up to. You know, maybe they would only go if there's an RV. That is kind of my preference, actually. But they, they, don't, want, they don't necessarily want to have like a, a tent in the dust and they just hate getting dust and everything, as it were. That might be a challenge for you. And it could be something that makes being in a relationship really hard when it comes to those sort of things in personal life. Because Burning Man is a retreat that happens once a year, as it were. You know, you go for a week in September, uh, late August, and you come home again. But if things happen there, and this is the thing, when you're going to a certain another place, what it does, it magnifies things. Because when you're outside your familiar territory, and again, if you travel somewhere, let's put it back in that context, go to a foreign land somewhere, somewhere exotic, as it were, but the reality is you go somewhere where you don't know any of the customs, you don't know the environment. It tends to reveal, because what it does is it magnifies those um, deal breakers, basically. Hi, Michelle. Good to see you. So that point about having this revealing is you get to know what's really going on. And as you know, if you know my work, I'm about helping my clients attract amazing relationships. So if you don't have that and you discover these... Um, I'm going to put this nicely. Those friction places where things do not line up, you don't know what to do, which is basically get out. The, the other side of it, just so don't just leave it hanging the land of red flags, is if you do go with somebody and traveling on a trip somewhere exotic, or maybe, again, Burning Man, as I mentioned, or some foreign, language, foreign country, and you discover this person steps up to a level you've never seen before, then you know this one's a keeper. I should make sure I mention that part. Because, again, this process of traveling and as again what i said in the book as it can make you closer or real do you want to leave is when you go somewhere with somebody traveling away with them especially early in the relationship and you discover they have an ability to take care of you and now for, i'm talking to the ladies for this one if you discover that, you, that the man you go, go with really knows how to take care of you and he, he stands up and and honors you he makes sure you're taken care of he's always a gentleman he sets things up for you makes things happen in the world around you that's pretty awesome 
But if he's someone who basically chickens out and backs away and doesn't want to do anything and puts you out there and makes you do the work, not a call. So on the other way around, if there's men watching this, if you're with a woman who basically, if you're someone who personally likes to rough it and go out there and do certain things and she's not willing to do that, that could be a deal breaker. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. Again, these are different things you've got to be clear for yourself. And, and I want to make sure that the actual experience of traveling together doesn't have to be a deal breaker because you may have different preferences. But when you go somewhere where there's a challenge in the experience, either it's challenging your comfort zones or it's an unexpected challenge that really messes things with your travel plans, for example, how you handle that challenge can be very telling about your character and about what's available to you. And again, what your respective partner's availability is too, because this is where the rubber meets the road. Because relationships can be wonderful and all nice when you get together in romantic settings and you go to each other's houses and you go to familiar restaurants, you live close to each other and all these things are very easy. When things get rough, when things get um, uneven, challenging, discordant, which can happen when you travel, which is why I told you that, use that as an example, you get to see what you're made of and you see, to see what they're made of. And that clarity will show you if this person has got the character you want to be with because it's not just, oh, they're fun in bed and we have a nice time talking together. It's like we can trust each other and depend upon each other, which if you want a healthy relationship, are pretty much required. I'm just seeing anything else. That would just stop abruptly. I'm just making sure there's anything else. That's where I want to go with this. I, want, I may have more. I'm not sure. Again, yesterday's talk was about red flags that started this. So I thought it'd be one today. I'm not sure. I might have another one tomorrow. Um, this one just came up in the conversation today for, in my awareness. And again, referencing my book. <clears throat> Excuse me. to grab it for you. If you haven't seen my book, that's my book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. And you go to my website, which is barryselby.com. And you can either click on the book to get the book in ebook or physical book format, either way. Or you can click on the Let's Chat, um, which is the left hand left hand part of the menu. Uh, when I'm on the screen, that side. It's my left hand, so left side. Yes, that side of the screen. Um, you click on the Let's Chat and book a complimentary clarity conversation with me. That's a free gift from me to you, where we can talk about what you're working on, where your challenges are, about relationship, where you want to go if you're single, how can I help you get there. All right? Um, if you have any questions or comments about this particular topic, please put them below in the comments. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook Live, you can catch them either way. If you want to watch my other broadcasts, they're on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author um, under Facebook, or on um, my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby is the, play, is the channel. A message for the masculine is the playlist. Excuse me. A message for the masculine is the playlist. That was unexpected. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and that's about it. If, if There might be other topics about red flags, as I mentioned. And if you have any thoughts or questions about that for yourself, um, and if you've had experiences traveling, I'll be interested in hearing about them. So feel free to message me. Um, I think that's about it. Since it's Sunday, there's no homework. <laughs> I give homework during the week in case you haven't seen my broadcast before. And um, I will be back in tomorrow with number 340 of my daily Facebook Lives. Thank you for being with me. I appreciate the the comments and, and the smiles and stuff on the broadcast. And uh, tomorrow's will be another topic. We'll see what comes up. These topics usually are unplanned. This one came up 10 minutes before I went live. So, and I don't, no, I'm not, I'm not planning to go into my book again tomorrow. We'll see. I'm just open to what happens. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.